How do you test to make sure that the nanowires are doing what they're supposed to be doing? This is the solar simulator. It simulates the intensity and the color of light from the sun. Okay. And we would shine that light onto our nanowire solar cells, which are sitting here. And we would poke them with these needles to get the electricity out. And then you would measure it to see how efficient. That's right. So what, what kind of efficiency are you seeing with the solar cells that you're making right now? Well, it's still really early days. We're seeing efficiencies similar to what people were seeing with silicon solar cells in the 50s. Okay. So we're talking about a few percent efficiency. But the physics tells us that we should expect in the range of 50 to 60 percent efficiency. So if all your math is correct, this should be, what is a regular panel? Probably 10 or 15 percent right now. So you should be three to four times as efficient. That's right. That is pretty amazing. Pretty cool. Yeah. So what does all this nanotechnology mean for a human-sized world? Well, in a few years, panels that use the nanowire technology are going to be a lot more efficient. That's going to mean smaller panels that produce the same amount of power we're used to today and bigger panels that produce a ton of energy. And that'll mean pretty soon, arrays on top of our houses might meet all of our energy needs.